Sides on Air on location, X Games Minneapolis 2019 with a familiar face, Ryan Sheckler. Welcome back, dude. Thanks, dude. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a minute. Uh, yeah. I was super bummed to miss last year, uh, but I healed up from my injury, and I was feeling really good today, man. Like, felt good, was skating good, just stepped off on a couple that were crucial, and um, other than that, though, man, it's been a great experience. I love X Games. It's my 18th time at X Games, so uh, the love is real, the fans are real, and uh, it was a good day. So heartwarming to see you back, uh, first day of practice and whatnot. Yeah. And how did you feel? Would you say 80 percent, 90 percent? Oh, I feel like my body's new 100 percent is about 92. So I, I feel 100. You know, I feel 100 for for whatever that's worth. But um, I felt great, man. Everything's working. The ankles feel good. My back's good. My knees are good. Um, I just, you know, I just had some step offs, man. That's how skateboarding goes. You know, some days it works perfectly. Other days it's a you feel great, but some tricks don't work, and that's where I'm at today. So, um, feel great, very blessed, thankful, and everybody ripped. So, skateboarding's getting gnarly. During that time off, you did a lot of things with charities and things yeah, like man. that. And, yeah. and right before the competition started, yep. you hosted something here. Yeah, yeah, we ho uh, we hosted. Um, it was our fifth stop at the Be uh, Be the Change Tour, and um, yeah, we did a ten thousand dollar grant to uh, this foundation called Wiggle Your Toes, which uh, helps get prosthetic limbs for kids that have lost an arm or a leg. Uh, things of that nature, and so it just, uh, it really kind of gets them out of their shell. Their goal is to allow kids to have a full-blown life instead of looking at, you know, missing a limb as, as, a, as a negative, you know, so um, what they do is incredible work, and we were super fortunate and blessed to have X Games allow us to use the bowl and, and allow us to have an hour to hang out with these kids and these amazing people, and um, yeah, it was the fifth stop of our uh, Sheckler Foundation tour, and uh, we're gonna keep going. We got four more stops this year, and it's been uh, it's been amazing. That's so awesome! Yeah, man, uh, congratulations good. on getting that together. Thanks, I really appreciate your time. Fantastic to see you, man. Thanks, guys. <laughs>for BMX Big Air, Ryan Williams. Yo. Congratulations hey, and thanks. redemption. I know redemption. Last year I came out, man, I couldn't put it together, but this year came out and did it. And I hope you like your sweaty hand. I was about to back. say, I, I'm never going to wash this hand again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, you said that uh, when people were starting off their runs just right out of the gate and you, you were trying to come up with things in oh. your mind, how many tricks did you have in your bag? I honestly had, I think I had three runs maybe planned and uh, I didn't even, I, get to, I got to do one of them, and that was the one you seen, and uh, I managed to throw a front flare in, but I really wanted to do that, but I uh, managed to get the win on the second run, couldn't be happier. What was the most challenging thing tonight, out of, out of the whole thing? I would have to say, um, crashing my first run, you know, and picking myself up, I really hurt my foot, but I didn't want to think about it, I just wanted to get it, my second run done, I didn't know what to do, I was like, do I take it safe and just try to land that run again, but I told myself, you know what, this is X Games Minneapolis 2019, Going for the three beat, make history. You got to do this, and it worked out. Are you going to top yourself? I'm not even thinking about that, but uh, I know I'll think of a way. Four beat, let's go. Exactly. Congrats on the gold, my friend. Hey, thanks. I feel like I'm going to pass out. Oh my gosh. Bronze medal winner for Skate Park, Lizzie Armanto, congratulations. Thank you. What was your mindset coming into the competition knowing that some of the others like Brighton and Jordan may not be competing and you know the fierce competition that still existed? I mean, I was kind of bummed that they weren't here just because I love skating with them and they're, I know they're injured and like that position always sucks. Like, I think all of us have been there skating wise, but I don't know. I'm excited to get see them back in the contests. Yeah. What was the most challenging part of today's runs? I feel like the waiting in between, like it's it, the anticipation is makes it feel like an eternity. Oh really? Kind of. Do, do you get in your head uh, during those moments? Is is that why, or is it that you lose momentum and you're you just want to keep skating? It's like you're watching only like your friends just like put down awesome runs, and you're just like, I want to go next, like and back them up. Big year next year with 2020 Olympics and skateboarding being one of the primary events for the first time ever to be showcased. What are your thoughts on that and how do you feel that you'll try to qualify? I mean, I think it's awesome. I think there's going to be so much more 
opportunity for skateboarding and there's gonna be more parks and more people getting into it and it's like it's something that I love and I hope some other people like end up feeling the same about it. Congratulations on bronze and great to see you and best of luck for the rest of the competition. Thank you, I appreciate it.